To take a random sample from a population is not as easy as it might look. Don't do this by eyeballing. We have a very selective perception. You need a very impersonal tool that is going to find for you records that are randomly selected. Um, I did that here by using a random number. And I put in there the following formula. Why that E1? E1 is the lot size and that is the sample size. So the lot size is the population size and how many samples do you want from there. So here we have this formula. Notice that A1 is not locked but E1 is locked. That means when we copy it down to A100, let's make that the maximum of the lot sizes, then we will get a random number. And then we put in here the following formula. We use the rank function nested inside an if function. We use the rank function inside nested inside an if function. And we use also the row function, which gives a row number for the cell A1 in this case. So when we copy it down, it will be A2, A3, so the number will be 2, 3, etc. So that is easily done there. Then here you can set your lot size. I, I put that cell with validation to a maximum of 100, but whatever you choose, if you change this value, you have to also change it here, of course. Copy it down to a 1000 or whatever you want. So this means that here there is still a formula, but it doesn't show up. It takes the double quotes, double quotes. So when I change the sample size or the lot size, things will automatically update. If I change the lot size to 20, then I will get only 20 random numbers. And the sample size to 5, then I get 5 random numbers. I'm undoing that. So we got here another set of random numbers. This one is a little fancier. They are random, no duplicates, and sorted, of course. But this time I put them in a matrix system. That puts here numbers. We hide them with a white font later on if you want to, for you don't really need them, but I need them to calculate a little better. And I put here 0, that means this one is 1, 2 through 10. But here, plus 10, this one would be 11, 12, 13, 21, 22, 23. That's why I put these numbers here. I would probably hide them with a white font. So what is the formula in there? It uses the small function this time to make sure that it's sorted. And it will do everything beautifully. Each time I press F9, everything gets recalculated and I get a new set of 15 random samples out of a population of 25. You probably think I, I don't usually work with random numbers. I work with records. If you work with records, we can still use the same technique. I, I just put one value in there, in these records, but there could be much more sales or observation dates or whatever. So these are a bunch of records in this case a lot size of 100, then we are going to add a new column before, actually two new columns. So why? Because I need that random number somehow. So I'm going to unhide those two columns. And this is the same as we did on the previous sheet. We have here an if function that I showed you on the previous sheet. There we have another if function with a nested rank function and a row function. But you really want to hide those. So what you really want to do here is hide A and B. So I'm going to undo that, unhide. And here I'm going to show those 50 random sample numbers out of all of them. And I use the following formula an if function with a nested small function. I think it all speaks for itself. 
Um, the only new thing now is that you want to make sure that at the end E4 plus F14, so that is E4 plus F14, G14, etc., that that is locked properly. The column is locked, E, but 4 is not locked. And then the, the row 14 is locked, but the column F goes to the right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. So this will give me a random set of 50 numbers. If you want to know what are the real records in there, or at least that input value, we need to use that same formula again, but this time we also use VLOOKUP. For we have to look up in the range B1 through C100. That is the hidden column plus the shown column. And we find the answer in column 2 of those two, which is the date. So that's how we get the dates in here. Again, each time you press F9, it will automatically update. And again, you have a choice if you want only 10 random records. Then you get 10, 10 random records, and these are the records that happen to be chosen aselectively, randomly. 